Okay, so it's the first one on each page, and if you like to, you can go ahead and do the rest just for practice. So I guess, you know, if you, from what we did in class, if you understand that whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other, this is a very easy uh, activity. All right, so we want we want all equations, well, our, our equations were E equals 40, right? So we're starting with E equals 40. Uh, here's what I did to both sides. So I'm going to start with I, I mean, I don't know, times 5 to both sides. So if I multiply both sides by 5, I'm going to get 5E. And 5 times 40 on the other side is going to be 200. So I can solve this, divide both sides by 5, and I would get E equals 40. So that's a one-step equation. A two-step equation. To this, I'm going to, I don't know, add or subtract uh, a certain value to both sides. I'm going to do minus 20 to both sides. So on the left side, I'm going to get 5E minus 20. And the right side, 200 minus, two, 200 minus 20 is 180. And now I have a two-step equation. So again, when I solve this, you if you want to try it out, you want to solve this, this will become this. And when you solve that, that becomes that. Okay, so think of it as a uh, uh, process that goes this way and one that goes back. Okay, so let's... So now I need something with parentheses, so in order to... So I'm going to... It's true, so I'm going to factor out the, uh, the greatest common, you know, actually, I can factor out a factor, a common factor between 5e and 20, okay? Now it doesn't have to be the greatest common factor, and just to illustrate that, actually, in this case, I have to, because there's no other choice. 5 is the only factor between 5e and 20, so I'm going to pull the 5 out, and inside I'm going to get e minus 4 equals 180, and again, if I did the distributed property, I would get 5e, which is this, and 5 times negative 4 it gives me this. Okay, so, so far so good. So now I want variables on both sides. So, uh, I don't know, be fancy, not fancy. So let's just add 6e to both sides. So um, whether you whether you add it here on the, on the left side plus 6e, or you do 6e plus 5e minus 4, where you put the 6e, really, this is just a matter of choice. Okay, so I'm just going to put it in front, so I'm going to get 6e, so I'm going to add 6e to the left side, 6e plus 5 minus 4. Now on the right side, I, I'm going to break up the 6e into two things, into two, um, into two terms, All right? So I'm going to call it e plus 180, plus 5e, and right, so e plus 5e is a 6e, so I'm, again, I just broke up the 6e into two parts instead of writing, writing it in there. And that's it, uh, as far as this, so if you can get this far, you're like more than good. So now with fractions, so I want to take, create something with fractions here, and I can make this very easily, I'm going to take this over here, okay, I'm going to take the second one, so uh, the fractions one, so let me write what I'm going to take. I'm going to take that one, this two-step two equation, which is 5e minus 20 equals 180. And I'm going to divide it by, I don't know, <sighs> make something up. Come on, uh, by 4. Oh, okay. So let's divide by 4. So divide everything by 4. So we're going to get 5 fourth e, my 20 minus 4 is going to be 5, and 180 divided by 4 is going to be 45. So is there a fractional, is there a fraction in this equation? Now there is. Okay. And then the last question, and I know you can't see it on the screen, and I don't want to move my screen, because if I move my screen, I lose everything. I'm going to take that same two-step equation and somehow introduce decimals to it. So 5e e minus 20 equals 180. I divide everybody by 100. Okay, dividing every, everybody by 100 means move the decimal two steps to the left. So um, I'm going to get, what is this? 0.05e minus 0 0.2 equals 1.8. 
So there is you know, uh, an equation, okay, where we can introduce decimals. And again, this also when you solve it, you'll notice that you get t equals four. Okay, and that's that's really it. There's not much of a challenge here. Sorry, uh, but again, just be careful and show me the steps. So this is page two. Now we want something that uh, we want all. We're gonna start with m equals twelve. So I don't know, this one I will divide. So I'm gonna divide both sides by four. So I'm gonna get m over four and 12 divided by four on the other side is three. I'm gonna add, I don't know, I'm gonna add um, 20 to both sides. So I'm gonna get m over four plus 20 and three plus 20 on the other side is 23. I'm gonna, can I do parentheses? Yeah, I can do parentheses here. So I'm going to introduce parentheses and introduce. I'm gonna I'm gonna take out one fourth out. If I take one fourth out, I'm gonna put m here because one fourth times m gives me m over four. And then one fourth times what number would give me twenty? Um, be eighty equals twenty three. And Right, because one fourth times m is m over four, and one fourth times eighty uh, would be twenty. So there we go. Now variables on both sides. Let's subtract. I don't know, three m to both sides. So one fourth m plus eighty. I'm gonna subtract minus three m. On the other side, I'm gonna do twenty three minus seven m plus ten m. Sorry, plus four m. Because negative 7m plus 4m gives you negative 3. It's just another way of writing negative 3. With fractions, I actually, I actually took care of that here. Okay, so with the fractions, we already have, this is already an equation with fractions. So you can just copy the first one, this one, or this one. Okay, it's already a fraction. Uh, if you want to change this to a decimal, ugh. Let's see what we can do to change this to a decimal. Um, Ah, oh, bummer. Um, changes to a decimal one fourth. Uh, I mean, we can. Okay, so I'm gonna take so the next the next line divide equation with decimal. So how do we get this to become something with a decimal? So let's just take something. So m four m over four plus twenty divided by twenty three. What happens if I divide? everybody by 10. I divide everybody by 10, 23 becomes 2.3, 20 becomes just 2, and m over 4, so let me just take that m over 4 divided by 10 is the same thing, right? So I'm going to write it like that, and we're going to use, we're going to change that to multiplying by the reciprocal, so it's m over 4, remember it's 10 over 1, so I'm going to multiply 1, 1 over 10, so it becomes m over 40. And there is fractions and decimals now on, on, on this equation, which is you know, fine by me. Okay. So again, these are my equations. You obviously have your own, so just use these as you get some type of a reference. Okay. G equals eight. Um, I'm going to times six to both sides, so I get six G equals. 48 because 8 times 6 is 48. That's my one step equation. I'm going to subtract 10 from each side. I'm going to 6g minus 10 equals 38. The parentheses, well, I can pull out a 2, that's a common factor, and it becomes 3g minus 5. Right? So notice that this one, um, I don't know what I was going to say. Uh, notice that this one, the uh, greatest common factor was 2. I guess that's so equals 38 variables on both sides let's do minus 3g on both sides so negative 3g plus 2 times 3g minus 5 and I'm going to do negative 3g on the other side but I'm going to write it as 38 minus plus 10g minus 13g how's that okay 
Um, and then I'm going to take this one. I'm going to highlight 6g minus 10. So I'm going to take 6g. So I'm going to write it over here. 6g minus 10 equals 38. I'm going to write it again here, 6g minus 10, 38, because I'm going to use this two-step equation that I created earlier, right here on this line. And I'm going to change that to something with fractions. So that has fractions, and I'm going to change that to have something that has decimals, right? So the decimal is easy. I don't know. We can just divide it by, I don't know, let's go crazy and divide everything by 100. So if we divide everything by 100, it's 0.06g minus... Um, 0 0.1 equals uh, 0 0.38, right? And then to change 6g minus 10 to 38, and let's, I don't know, introduce fractions to it. So let's divide everybody by... <sighs> divide everybody by 12. How's that? Right, just, let's see what happens here. So if I divide everybody by 12, so I'm going to put 6g over 12, minus 10 over 12, and then 38 over 12. Let me just simplify this. And the better version of this would be 6, o 6 over 12 is a half, so we get g over 2 minus 10 over 2, which is the same thing as 5, 6 equals 38 over 12. You can simplify it, um, and let's simplify that to 19 over 6. 19 over 6. Right, 19 over 6, which is going to become 3 and 1, 6. So there, I changed that. I made a an equation with fractions. Now, every single equation that we created here, every single one of them, and I'll sort of put every single one of them here, has the same answer, g equals 48. Okay, so hopefully those kind of helped um, provide you a uh, um, point of reference when you're doing those.